What up, y'all? Back in the garage. It's a complete mess right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this shit cleaned up a little. Um, yeah, I'm missing my garage door now. But let me get this cleaned up and I'll get started. Give you guys, you know, just a little update video of everything that's been going on. Alright, y'all, so. Remember my said that? The homie Matt needs some help. Working on, so I'm gonna head over, help him out. Shit sounds good, man. Right? Alright, let's head over to my house. I just pulled up, so I'm gonna help this dude throw this transmission into this uh, 37. It's an automatic, not a manual, but it'll be fun, so let's get right into it. A pretty clean IPL. Five no, minutes here and it's in already. Yes, sir. You gotta get the master D Tech. Yeah, he called me the master. And you got the master Subi Tech over there with the broken Subi stuff. Yep. You know. Broken pelvis too. <laughs> Pass me the <laughs> and two bolts. Too. All right. <laughs> All right. Update. So that trans is in. Drive shafts on. We're pretty much just buttoning up now. But I'm gonna head back to the garage to finish cleaning up. Matt's gonna finish this up later on. Alright people, so it's the next day actually, <clears throat> but I am going to be fixing my sedan today, uh, um, it's sunny, well it's not sunny, but it's not raining right now, it's been raining crazy for the past couple weeks, a week or so, so that headlight works fine, that one don't, so I'm going to pull out the, uh, I think it's called the ballast, we'll pull out the ballast, I have an extra one, I want to swap it and see if it turns back on. And then I'm gonna have to pull out the fog light bulb to swap that out also. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna see if I could get it without taking the headlight completely out. I wanna see if I can get it by just taking the wheel off. So let's go. So I found like three screws to hold the ballast in. Did it drop down? Pretty sure that's my issue. That shit is completely wet. Like there's water. Still flying out of there. So let me go ahead and pull this out and get it swapped out real quick. Yeah, so as you could tell. That ain't supposed to be like that. Oh. Well, that makes sense why my headlight wasn't working. <laughs> Go figure, right? It sounds like something is loose in there, so this one might be done for. That's a lot of water that came out. This one was like this before, but I let it dry up, so hopefully it works. I'm going to put that new one back on. So we'll see. I also gotta pull out the fog light real quick and get another one of those because I think that one might have might have shorted out due to the rain also. So let me go ahead and pull that one out too. Alright, so I finally got it back on. As you can see, I'm just missing that cap still, that's why it kept shorting out. What I found funny was uh, there's a fog light on here and this is how it was sitting somehow once I found it. So I don't know what happened if it got too hot and exploded or something, but yeah, that's crazy. So, I just ordered some LED ones off of Amazon. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but I'm going to go to O'Reilly's real quick and pick one up. For the meantime, because I do need to get a break in lap inspection to get this thing finally registered. So, let's go to O'Reilly's. Got to the junkyard, my homie Steve's GS400. Hi, oh, this was inside already. Damn, it's here for a fender. Well, let's get in there and see what we find. I'm gonna look for some parts for my uh, G2. 
cover is so he's all the way in the back but I gotta find a G that has a headlight cover which that one does not so I'm gonna go meet up with him right now and let's see if oh damn that shit's messed up let's see if we find anything interesting last time I was here it was a limo here, but I don't think it's here anymore. I got a bunch of tires here too, I don't know why. But, yeah. Oh, there's a Miata. Interesting. That shit is stripped out though. It's crazy. What is this? An old Benz? Damn. It's crazy some of the cars you find. I've seen a Rolls Royce in here before. Obviously an old one, but you know. Pretty uh, pretty rare to come by a car like that, in my opinion. Damn, y'all need Volkswagen parts? Oh, never mind. That's just stripped like a motherfucker. That's a shell right there. God damn, there's injectors in there. Oh, wait, I see another GS right there. I see it. What is this? Oh, that's a Beamer. That shit's all fucked up. That's crazy. They cut the hole. Damn, this one was uh, burnt up. I wonder why. 05 Honda. Dude, you could smell it. It smells gross. I wonder what caught on fire. Oh, it's a hybrid, I think. Yeah, it's a hybrid. I wonder if like the hybrid battery caught on fire or something. Oh, there's a G right here, but it uh, doesn't look like it has what I need. Oh, engine's missing. Plus the headlights. That's just great. Damn, dude, they smack something hard. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, this car's all messed up. Looks like we got pieces of the engine harness right here. Yeah, they cut the engine harness. That's all bad. 300 ZX here too. Oh, it's automatic. It's stripped down too. Oh, what? The motor's in here. But I don't think it's, uh... I don't think it's capable of running, bud. There's a lot of burnt up fucking cars in here. This is a CRX. That shit's just... Gone. Completely. Oh, no. The bumper's still good. The bumper's good, but the rest of the car is... Burnt. Found a... G35. If that. Not a G, but... No look on the headlight cap, so head across the lake. Stunt, jumping it, jumping it, jumping it. Gonna get me fucking eating it right now. <laughs> Damn, I'm almost glad I found a Q45, but it's an i30. I'm gonna buy a Q45 one day. This shit's pretty clean. Well, it was at one point. Black interior, black interior is hard to come by in these old cars, so pretty dope. Damn, this a cord got messed up, dude. Jesus. That's all good. It's crazy seeing some of these cars, like just how messed up they are. There's a, oh, is this is a Maxima with the DD in it. The one, what is this? This looks like a MR2. Oh, not an MR2, I'm sure. A Celica, maybe? Yeah, it's Celica. It's pretty cool. Once again, stripped, obviously. You get these rare, more rare cars that people like buying. By the time you get to them, they're all messed up, torn apart already. anything I was looking for particularly well one thing I was really looking for was the um, cap for the back of my headlight because it's missing so when it rains water gets in there but <clears throat> yeah I'll figure it out I wasn't even able to get my brake light inspection apparently my brake light my brake pads were too low so anyways I'm gonna start working on my new project car soon it's just been sitting here collecting dust you know whatever 
Um, I gotta go get the other coupe. It's parked in the street, but yeah, I'm gonna get started on this thing soon. You know, clean fucking. It's a clean title. That's the only reason why I bought this. It's a clean title. Once it's done, it's gonna be a complete transformation. Don't worry. So, so this is how the car currently sits. Um, as you can tell, it's all torn apart right now. Pretty much, it's honestly a complete rolling shell. Like my hood's not on right. Um, this D is still in here. I believe it's blown though, so I mean it's gonna get pulled out regardless. I have all the uh, engine room wiring out and stuff, so all of this is going to be taken out and replaced once it's time for the HR swap. Just a little update on my coupe. I already have one. If you guys are new to the channel, I have a G35 coupe that is HR swapped but it has frame damage on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap everything to this one. It's a clean title, the frame is straight, so. It's obviously a big project, but it's totally gonna be worth it once, once she's done. I'm most likely gonna get started on this soon, so if you guys wanna see G content, comment that down below. All right, so I currently got the sedan in the garage now. Um, like I said, it's been raining like crazy recently. There's another storm coming this weekend. Um, one thing I noticed was I was getting a puddle of water inside of the car. And I am assuming, I do have subs, so I'm assuming it's coming from right here. Where I splice through the, uh, the little inlet right here for the engine harness. So I'm going to try to find something to seal it up. I mean, there's not really much I could do. But I'm gonna see if I could throw some silicone maybe or something on it, you know, just to just to keep it cold so I avoid getting any type of water inside. So let me see what I have. I'm probably just like I said, I'm gonna throw some silicone over it or something. Alright, so it's not the best, but it's something for now. I just threw some RTV silicone around it and most likely won't seal it completely, but it's honestly worth a shot just for now, just to keep most of the water out from the inside. So I just wanted to play it safe now. With the ECU being on this side, I don't want to risk uh, messing anything up. Anyways, back to my coupe. Um, I'm going to bring the other coupe, the silver one. I'm going to bring it in soon and start disassembling everything, get the motor pulled out of it. And then it's going to be time to start building this thing. It's obviously full of just junk right now and parts and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one. Like I said, I mean, it's, it's just been sitting here. So I finally have the time and, you know, the space available to be able to do it. So I'm going to want to jump on that as quick as I can man, to get this car done. I'm excited for it. It's going to be a dope build, you know. Just, I mean, it's the same thing as Model the 1, the HR, but... I'm gonna be able to document everything top to bottom and how how to build it pretty much. So yeah. <clears throat> so this is gonna be the end of this video, y'all. It's just something small, you know, to put out there for you guys. So if you like it, like, comment, subscribe, all that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Baby.